Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Beyond measure. I'm going to show you how great I am. Last night I cut the light off in my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. I'm going to show you how great I am. On the last week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. I'm going to show you how great I am. This kid's going to be the best kid in the world. This kid's going to be somebody better than anybody ever knew. I'm going to show you how great I am. I have wrestled with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. I'm going to show you how great I am. All of you chumps are going to bow when I whoop him. All of you. I know you got him. I know you got him picked. But the man's in trouble. I'm going to show you how great I am. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place. And I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Because if you're willing to go through all the battling you got to go through to get to where you want to get, who's got the right to stop you? I mean, maybe some of you guys got something you never finished, something you really want to do, something you never said to someone, something. And you're told no, even after you pay your dues, who's got the right to tell you that? Who? Nobody. It's your right to listen to your gut, and ain't nobody's right to say no. After you earn the right to be where you want to be and do what you want to do. Now, if you know what you're worth, then you want to get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hit and not point your fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. If I could describe the electrolytes in one word, it would be a... Uh serious because uh, we come here and focus and we never mess around and we never joke or laugh or play or, or do anything dedicated because we we don't give up we keep going and we can't be stopped once we're in that state of mind uh, persistent because we never give up we I mean this is our fourth year auditioning for ABDC uh, we're going to keep knocking until we've got something you like or until you like what we've got. Walking through the Electrolyte's creative process is a lot of trial and errors and a lot of patience. And one thing that we like to do is we like to take something and make it better. Take it, try to build on top of it, try to flip it, try to make it seem, okay, we did this already, but how can we make this better? How can we make this? We always try to top what we do. So if we do something that's great, we try to do something greater. The electrolyte's creative process. Using our finished products are still like a collective. It, this idea uh, um, progressively evolved into this idea and this idea, so then we make this nice, tight, finished product. Um, and I've been really happy with all the pieces that we've done so far, so. Um, how we create, it's kind of unique. I know from a studio dancer, I'm used to just having a teacher, someone teaching me. I, do it. Electrolytes, we kind of, we all come together, we all do the choreography together, and we create for each other. Ooh, my favorite things about being an electrolyte. Definitely the guys, for sure, is my number one favorite thing. My best friends definitely come from this crew. This is where I'm at, this is where my heart is, this is where my family is, you know. Um, when I train, I want to train with these guys. When I battle, I want to battle with these guys. With the electrolytes, 
my favorite thing is definitely just the fact that these guys are my family and I know that they're gonna be there for me when I need them or even when I don't need them. Favorite thing about being an electrolyte is definitely the road trips. <laughs> the road trips are always fun. It's a good bonding time for all of us. You know, life demands a lot out of all of us. And sometimes we don't get to see you know, each other on a regular basis other than dance practice and dance shows. So uh, we're definitely in front of the crew outside of dance. You know, that's chill. I hope to see the electrolytes and continue to grow together, um, get more confident. I know that I hope to see us winning at ABDC season 7 for sure, um, HHI for sure, World Body Rock, all that good stuff. But um, after that, I hope to see us in the future just still doing what we do, still together, still hanging out, still going on road trips, still um, having our electro date nights and all this kind of stuff. You know, everything else is, is a plus. but. Ultimately, I hope to see us in the future. I hope to see these guys in my wedding. Hope to be in their wedding. Our dream is to win America's Best Dance Crew Season 7. Go on there and win it. Uh, I want to be to be a part of the first United States crew to win world at HHI. Um, no, I don't think any USA crew has done that. And I want, it would be cool to be the first crew to do that. Electrolytes from a little town called Gilbert, Arizona. Uh, one of the things I would like to see in the Electrolytes future is being on America's Best Dance Crew Season 7, but not just being on it, winning America's Best Dance Crew, uh, becoming America's Best Dance Crew, going and defending our title at Hip Hop International, uh, taking number one in the nation again, and then being the first USA crew to be the number one crew in the world. And that's what I would really like to see in the future as of this year. Um, for the electrolytes to keep traveling, to keep being us and not lose who we are as people, as a crew, as a family, and still do the things we do now, to keep going. Even if we're not dancing, I still would like to see the electrolytes be electrolytes, the family, because it's more than just us dancing, it's us being, you know, together. <laughs> say loud, say proud! Say Baby, I might shock you, come too close I'll make it just so high you 